Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Watercolor Instructions with me. Uh, I'm going to do my favorite cityscape, uh, Venice. Uh, so uh, before I start, uh, in terms of the setup, I got a quarter sheet Saunders rough paper. I got my John Pike palette. Uh, it's got about 21 colors and I've got a range of brushes. brushes. Uh, if you want to know what my brush and what my colors are, if you just scroll down to the end of the video, you can see I posted a couple of slides, all my colors and all my brush. If you have any other questions, do drop a note in the comment and I will get back to you. Uh, so my, if you haven't watched it before, uh, consider subscribing, help me out. Uh, I'm in the early stage, every little help matters. So generally it's done in four stages. So I do a drawing, uh, the first wash, and then I'm slowly building my midtones and my highlights. So you could always think in terms of four washes. So I will try to post a reference photo, but this is some uh, photo. I'm doing it from my uh, little bit of memory and then some of the old photos. Uh, I'm not gonna clean my palette. Generally it gives you the best grace. Uh, you'll see how it goes so in terms of um, so you want to have a horizon so in this case i'm going to just do a slightly centered and the uh, cathedral the main cathedral and then also a rule of one third so i'm going to tend to put in a, a gondola over here so let's um, put a gondola i'm going to take a little more time to make sure the gondola looks One, yeah. Okay, and not to mention there's two iconic red chairs and the person standing over here. And somewhere about that size. Can we give us more? Angle and smash. Yeah, probably that's all I want to add that one, but, but maybe I'm going to add a few more a barge board. A few more barge boards on the side. And maybe gondola there's a little more action going on in that area okay so something in that order uh, in terms of the building I'm gonna put in a big dome So a little more details. There's a statue. Um, then the second dome. I think this is, um, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is the Santa Maria cathedral let me just check if it's recording okay okay a little bit of interest and um, Yeah, so, and that's what I want to do, and then a little more architecture and some details. So, I'm going to do less and less details, but that's my main area. So, 
maybe some windows. Maybe this is a little bit good. So I'm going to try to add a little more depth. Uh, I just feel that particular boat is a little too small compared to everything else. So I'm going to make the boat a, a little bigger. So roughly about that size. So I'm going to do yeah, is that the man standing. I would still do that. Okay, so he's standing on a platform. Okay, so. So that first one, the size was not too, I wasn't too happy with the size. And okay. Yeah, so this is uh, the front. So I would pay attention to make sure it looks just fine. All right, that's my structure. So this one again is a little bit of a loose sketch, but I will pay a little more attention and a little bit of turquoise and see how I carry on. Um, again, uh, number size 10 mop. I'm gonna just mix a little more. See if it becomes gray. If not, I'm going to add a little more gray to it. So it's a little too red for me. That's all right. I'm going to add a little more gray. Blue. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just check what the color is. That's all right. I'm just going to add a little more water. Keep in mind, it dry, when it dries, there's a little more. And I'm going to introduce a little more blue and Algerian red while I'm getting to the So it's just a play of blues and what I should have done is a little bit of I should have left a little more white for the some effects. Okay, so I'm gonna just slowly add a little more color. And I'm going to come in. So the barge. Okay, I'm going to reintroduce a little more red in that area. Some sort of a reflection. I know what you're thinking, you think it's too dark, but I'm gonna lighten it. Just bear with me. I'm pulling in the colors. And just a little more water. And I'm pulling
while leaving the white. And I'm going to go a little turquoise as a water, so I'm going to add a little more turquoise. Okay, that's my first layer and probably a very important layer that sets the mood, that sets the tone. I'll let it dry a little bit. Uh, I want this section to be a little wet so that I'm going to come in and add a little more waves but I'm going to try to dry a little more on the top. While it's getting dried I might add a little more Cloud. That was a little okay. Okay, so while that one is going on, okay, I'm just letting it dry a little more on its own because there's a lot of mixing happening in the paper and sometimes doing less is doing a lot more. So I want to dry that area and then come over here. Sure. So I'm going to switch to a slightly smaller brush. I'm just making a call when to dry this one so that because I want just enough uh, wet surface so that it doesn't bleed too much but also not too dry. So while it's slightly a little wet, I'm going to come in a little so the the foreground slightly smaller waves as you get a little closer slightly bigger waves gives a sense of depth okay that's enough okay so now i'm going to completely dry it I'm fine with a little bit of wave and I'm going to come in. I think I lost the brush. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, so I'm switching to a smaller brush. Uh, recently I've been using a lot of uh, Chinese calligraphy pen uh, brush. They've got longer bristles, uh, which I kind of like, even though they act like a mop. Uh, I would say the difference is just much longer hair. That gives a nice uh, control, uh, at least I enjoy it. Uh, I am looking for buying some better quality calligraphy brush. Um, but if we start with it, 
So I'm going to continue the theme with the similar color so that it gives you a nice. So this is a bit of everything on the palette. I always check a little bit. So that one is a little dark. Oh, probably not. I'm going to adjust it. If it's a little dark, I come back, add a little more water to dilute it. And at this stage, I'm going to add a little ultramarine. And a little more blue. So there's supposed to be a statue, so some sort of reference. So pay attention, I'm using my little pinky as a support to draw detailed drawings. So that kind of and then also, even though it's a gloomy day, you want to have a light source. Let's assume that's the light source. So I'm going to try to make that side a little more darker, that side of the dome, and a little lighter on this side. And just slowly blending. Okay, the same thing for the main dome, a little more darker. So there's a statue. It's just a reference. As I said, I'm going to make it, this side a little dark and I'm going to take the pigment out and then make that a little lighter So, and continue add a little more interest while we go on. So. Okay, so at this stage, all I'm doing is adding a little bit of colors. That's a bit too dark, which I don't like. So, a little bit of tissue. As long as it's wet, you can control where and how things are going. So, so I'm going to just go a little bit of turquoise. And start going a little more darker. Slowly increasing the hue. There's some effect going on in the background. A little more shadows. So 
So we kind of complete So I'm leaving a little bit white for the boat. Okay, so while this is still a little wet, I'm gonna add a little more details. So take most of the water from the pigment, a little dry stroke, representing suggesting windows. Okay. So. more adding a little more details just a suggestion nothing Okay, so I might come in and add a little more detail, but at this stage I'm happy to proceed with it. So also I might lift a little bit of color here while it's still wet to add As a building. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's the background. I'm going to start focusing on the foreground right now. So the most important subject is obviously the gondola. Let's um, crack on with it. So I will switch to a slightly smaller paintbrush. Small synthetic. Clean the brush. You get only one chance. The shirt, I'm going to do a little bit of turquoise and So, so, and a little bit of this here. Okay. 
So I'm slowly building the character, the red seeds. And it's black. So slowly, surely. Okay, so that's the gondola covered. I am going to manage other bits and bobs right now. So that one is too even. I'm going to just break a little bit. And so a little more black. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna go while it's wet. I'm gonna just take a little bit of color over there just to give a slightly faded finish on the side. Okay, now it's a matter of finishing the front and adding some boats in the back. So, adding boats in the back. Similar tone, so a little bit burnt up. Um, So, a little bit of colors, and there's another boat in the background, so slowly, slowly adding. adding a little more detail. Okay, couple more gondolas. I'll come back and then finish that person, a little more of a seat. Maybe one more gondola on the side. And a few more boats in the background.
Okay. So, a little bit of dry brush. I'm going to do a few more folds. So always a dry brush, that one is too strong. Mixing the brush a little bit, adding more to the background. Having that dry brush makes it believable. That adds a texture in the boat. Not to forget, let's add the person, the gondola. And a little rougher skin. Oh, that one was a bit too much. That's all right. As long as it's wet, we can control. And not to forget his long paddle. Okay, so I'm slowly adding a little more layer. Dry brush, a little more. I think that should be enough for the shadows. Uh, that area looks too light. I'm going to just work on that area a little more, make it a little more darker, uh, add a little more shadow under the umbrella or um, So while it's getting dried, I'm just adding a little more features, something going on, not sure what it is, but just a hubbub of activity going on. a little better so okay much better okay I think this stage I'm gonna just dry a little bit and then add some more final touches over there
more dry strokes and Okay. Okay, so we are on our last final bits and bobs. So, a little more uh, dry brush stroke. Wasn't dry enough. A little bit of gap, a little bit of gap. So there's gondola's part. I think uh, I'm gonna stop here. I think that has enough detail. Uh, I will add a couple of highlights with the white, but I'm gonna stop uh, painting. So, quick couple of highlights, pigment directly. I'm adding a little bit of shadow on the seat. on the boat okay and on the stern okay so a little more on the guy not to forget the boat So wherever there's a little bit of action going on. Okay. Uh, it just gives a little more. That's enough. Also, I'm going to just add a little bit of steam. There's some something going on. A little more mystery. Maybe somebody is cooking, somebody is doing a risotto or whatnot okay so uh, that one looks okay i am not convinced about that area that area needs a little more dark uh, bear with me sorry i'm gonna just add a little more dark Okay. 
Okay. That seems slightly better. <laughs> so it's about just trying to get that feel right. The lighting is the key. So there's no reason why you can't go back and then finish the painting. In this case, I thought it needs a little more. I went back and I'm adding a little more color. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna just dry it and then I will reveal the painting. Okay, so if I reveal the painting, there you have it. Let me just check if it's in the frame. Yeah, it looks in the frame. Thank you for sticking along. I hope you enjoyed and then had some ideas or tips or tricks which you could uh, borrow from the video. Uh, as always, uh, thank you. If you got any comments, let us know. And till next time, keep watercoloring. If I keep looking at that drawing, I'm gonna keep adding a little more details. So I'm gonna say goodbye and thank you. Cheers.